Okay, we have here to another integral. We've got the integral from zero to one of x to the pi minus one minus x over ln x dx. Okay, now this one may look kind of familiar because what I've done is I took a few different problems I've done recently and kind of just smashed them all together to get something a little bit different but similar. So to get started with this, the first thing I want to think about is it's tempting to want to just break this up, split it in half on the minus sign. The interesting thing is if you do that, each of these integrals individually are divergent. So if we were to just completely try to solve them separately as two integrals, that would be a problem. So for now, what I'm gonna do is let's do something else instead. Let's split this up into two. But what I'm gonna do is for the first one, for x to the pi minus one, I'm gonna create this minus one here. So that way, now this integral, this integral we can do, this is actually convergent. But now I don't wanna change it. So what I'm gonna to have to do is we need to do something when we create this second part, this x, I'm going to do the same thing. Subtract 1 in order so this integral here is convergent. And this is going to be okay because if you distribute on the minus sign, this becomes a plus 1 minus 1. So all we did was add 0. So this is going to be the same thing as our original problem. And then from here, what I want to do is I want to use Feynman's trick on it. We've got two integrals really of the same form. We can look at the exponent here on the x as 1. We can look at the exponent here, pi over 1 and parameterize it on that exponent. And then this type of integral here is one that we've done before a couple times, I think. So let's just set this up like this. So anyway, going ahead with this now, we just wanna differentiate this, but we're differentiating with respect to A. So what I wanna do is bring the derivative inside the integral, do it as a partial with respect to A. So we'll integrate this with respect to A. But when I'm gonna do the natural log X, that's gonna be a constant. So I'm gonna, a constant with respect to A. So we'll bring that all the way out here, and then we're just differentiating this x to the a minus one. Doing this, when we differentiate, when we differentiate one, that's just gonna be zero. When we differentiate x to the a, we can kinda of use a formula. Remember, x is gonna be a constant, so what we're gonna get out of this is gonna be x to the a times natural log x, and then we have this one over natural log x here. But of course, these are gonna cancel, and now we've got something simple. We can just do this with power rule, so we'll go ahead Integrate this, a is a constant now. So we do this, we get a, and we get x to the a plus one over a plus one evaluated from zero to one. Plugging in one, we end up with just one over a plus one. Plug in zero, that's just gonna be zero. So we'll leave that off and we have our value here for f prime of a. And then from here, what I wanna do is we wanna get back to our f of a value because like kind of going back to our goal, this is the same thing as our integral. And what we're trying to find, it's gonna be f of pi minus one minus just f of one. So what I can do over here, let's just integrate this with respect to a, do it on both sides, integrate with respect to a. That way this right here is gonna be our f of a value. So doing this here, we get natural log a plus one plus c on this. And this is our f of a value. And the way we can evaluate for the plus c is coming back and looking at this. If you think about f of zero, if you plug a zero in here, this is just gonna be x to the zero or one, the numerator becomes zero, the whole thing becomes zero. So our f of zero value is zero. But anyway, going ahead with this, I need to plug in zero. So what's gonna happen, we have natural log, plug a zero in here, we have natural log one plus c equals zero. So this right here is zero. So that means c equals zero. And so for our f of a value, we just have natural log a plus one. And now at this point, all I need to do to finish it off is we just need to calculate this and this because that's going to be our solution. So we just need to really plug in. So first, plugging in pi minus 1 here, you just get natural log of the minus 1 and the plus 1 cancel. We just have natural log of pi. And then you plug a 1 in here. Now you just have natural log of 2. Putting these together with log properties for my final solution to this, you just get natural log pi over 2. Okay, there you have it. That's how integrals are made, just by smashing together like four problems into one. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.